Hi, we're on the bus and we're waiting to get our briefing package. I'm enjoying a last minute lifesaver before we go to the American Space Force. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I'll get some more. I'm going to get a towel or something out of the hotel. Of course, because Dick is on the bus, they ran out of briefing packages before they got to us. But I'm sure they'll find some others, or maybe they'll make some Xeroxes or something for us. But anyhow, we're on the bus. It's going to be about another 20 minutes before we leave for the spaceport. This is my Han. Excited, as usual. these lit NASA launch guest buttons and our briefing packages and in the briefing package is a picture of the astronauts on this mission. As you can see there is a woman astronaut and I think this is Wabo Ockels from the Netherlands. We have a correction to make. Just a few minutes ago I falsely identified the captain of the mission, William Hartsfield, as Wabo Ockels. The real Wubbo Ockles is here, although Captain Hartsfield does resemble him. Sorry. There's a lot of times I say look left, but you look, uh, look that way. And if you look at the double poles, we'll all see whether Mr. and Mrs. Eagle are in now. Okay, watch the double pose. You're coming right up on it now. Well, I can see you coming. Can everybody see it now? It's yeah. up to you. No eagle. No eagle. Just a nest. Empty nest. It doesn't look like they're in Tampa. We'll try to look when we come back. We have to come right back this way anyway. We'll be passing the uh, Saturn missile. This is the one we use for the Apollo missions. And one of the one of the differences, of course, is that uh, the Saturn vehicle, which is also the responsibility of Marshall, is like a stovepipe effect where everything goes straight up with with the solid with the uh, shuttle. Because we have two solid rocket boosters that push from each side, and then we have engines in the middle. So this build, this, the low building here looks like a small building. Okay, remember really now, we're going to go into the lobby, just walk to the back, and then turn right, and we'll go up the elevators, and we're probably going to have to uh, use two elevators. I'll put the crew on. We go through a whole, uh, by the way, where you are is where... Now everything, everything that we do, by the way, this is the, this is another picture, we'll get to see that on the roof. And the thing, I teach people how to make these charts, they're critical path charts done in a bar chart way. That's in the facilities for the orbiter, for the solid rocket booster, everything that's done in this facility, and that's 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 uh, the work effort that has to be done. If anybody's interested in taking staff? Huh? How many staff people involved? Staff people? Well, in actual physical launching, you're launching the missile and itself. In one day. Okay, in one day operation, you probably have directly hands on, I want to say hands on, the engineering folks, test and check out. Probably about 4,000 guests, good question, 600,000. But we do have 10,000 people here. County. The uh, Lockheed test director, Roger Gillette, was, uh, just a few moments ago, gave a go to the shuttle uh, the range safety officer to perform the Eastern Test Range uh, uh, shuttle uh, safety way, systems where, verification uh, test. Uh, the uh, superintendent of range operations had already reported completion of the full fire indication checks. Then we have the individual test conductors for 
each one of your solid rocket boosters and then you get down into the floor with the action console engineer job. Okay, and I don't know if you can see them. We don't want to see them open the bar. You can see them. No flash picture. Oh, yes, that's right. Don't take any of the pressures. Okay, we'll just look at it. I don't want you to come back here. We'll just look at the clock over here in a second. So just come over here. Let me get in there first. <coughs> okay. Right, this is the fan ball. Now, let's find the fan come in here. Now, this is fine. Don't go, don't go too far. No, no, just in case we're... Oh, that's right. As long as it's not flat. Okay, now see, what I was telling you about is each one of these, each one of these areas, see where you see the people sitting, that's all an individual computer. The only difference in this fire room from the other fire room is you They would do that. They would pluck out their eyes. I'm appalled that you won't do that with your dick. Even pluck out one eye. Yeah. 